If you've done any kind of electrical work, then you've probably used these. Wire nuts have been around since 1929, and they're the main way that most people connect two wires together. But unfortunately, they're also incredibly dangerous, and most people do not use them correctly. And in this video, I'm gonna show you what's wrong with them, and a better way to join two pieces of wire that'll make your electrical work so much easier, you'll never go back to using them again. The biggest problem with wire nuts is they're not reusable, so once you put them on, they bite into the wire and that's just part of the design that keeps them secure. But if you ever need to make any changes, those bite marks can interfere with another connector and they can actually cause overheating. So the right way to do it is to cut that section of wire off, put on a new wire nut, and then you'll have a safe and secure connection. Every time you're cutting that wire, you're shortening the length of it. And as you can see here, I only have about three inches of wire that comes out of the box. So that means that over the years, if I'm gonna change a switch, add a light, or make any other changes, I'm gonna to have to keep cutting the wire down. Now back in the 20s, that didn't really matter because electricity was new and nobody was thinking of the future. And using these isn't as easy as you'd think. Most people think you just screw them on and everything's all set. But if you put them on too loose, they can fall apart and start a fire. Too tight and the wire can eventually break and also start a fire. Some people say pre-twist them, others say it doesn't matter, and some will even put electrical tape on top, covering the whole mess up. But no matter what you do, you also can't modify it easily. But fortunately, there's a better way to do it, and it's called a Wego connector. Wego created these a number of years ago, and this was their original connector. You never twist the wires together. In fact, all you need to do is flip up each of those orange levers, insert one of the wires into each hole, and close the lever down. Now all the wires are connected inside, and you have a secure and safe connection. These things are fast. If you're up on a ladder and you're making a connection, you know how using a wire nut is a real pain and sometimes you need two hands. With these, a single hand can make the connection and you're done. But the thing I like the most is if you ever wanna make a change, you can actually flip the lever back up and the wire comes out undamaged. Here's another awesome benefit. You can actually mix and match different types of wire, including stranded wire. Now, many people do this with wire nuts and it almost always creates a bad connection. And if you pull your wire nut off, you'll probably see something like this where it didn't go together properly. But using a Wago is so much simpler. You just put it in, click down the lever, and all the wires are locked in place. And the last benefit is they're pretty much idiot proof. As long as you cut the wire to length and you make sure the lever is folded down, you'll know that you have a secure connection. Now there are a couple of cons. If you were doing this commercially, these are more expensive, but for a DIY wire, it really doesn't cost you much more at all because you're gonna save some time and they really are so handy. But this original design was actually considered a little bit big, so Wago re-engineered the connector and created this one. This is one made of clear plastic and this is their current model. Now what they did with this is by making it clear, you can see that the wires are inserted in all the way. So this is an extra safety for you to make sure that you've made a good connection. And you can also notice that the connector is even smaller. So if you've got a packed junction box, you can have a number of these things and you're not gonna fill the box at all. This wasn't a sponsored video. I don't have any connection to Wago. In fact, all the connectors you've seen were ordered by me via Amazon. These things are just awesome. And when I was replacing my light, it made me realize how many people have never seen or even gotten to use these. So really, if you ever do any kind of electrical work, you consider buying some of these in the future. And if you ever use them, I think you'll have the same reaction that I did. Hopefully you liked this video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more videos coming up.